Well, it's paint day, or round one paint day, or paint day round one. I don't know. Um, gonna get started. We are approaching 50 degrees. We're still a couple degrees cool, hence the hat. But uh, I think by the time we're out there set up, everything rolling, it'll be a, warm, a little bit warmer. We'll be out in the sun and everything. So, uh, gonna get started on this thing today. Just start uh, taking care of the old chip spots and the yellow floor that's been driving me crazy. Uh, and um, yeah, once we get some of this stuff done, be able to put our new um, shoulder harnesses in, which is going to be very exciting. Going to start getting rid of some of the other interesting colors, some of the other interesting design choices from before. Um, get some of these things painted. Not sure how far we'll get today. I really want to. My main priority is this, you know, seat area of the cage and the floor, so I can throw these belts in. Uh, maybe do some of the back, some of the back rail back here as well. Um, I'm going to worry about fuel tank and shroud and all that later, but really just want to kind of get a first coat on this thing, see how it looks. So we'll get some before and after pictures. Uh, we're not going to talk about the ratchet strap. That'll be uh, for another day. And uh, get that uh, <laughs> get that skid plate hung back up there a little better. So we'll get this thing fired up, moved out in the back, and uh, start hauling all of our supplies out. All set up for paint. Gonna get some, uh, well, I'd say put some color on this. We're trying to remove some color from this, actually, is really the goal. So, uh, not gonna be perfect. You know, we're just kind of trying to touch up so it's, you know, good from far, but far from good, as my dad would always say. Uh, you know, give it the whole 100 foot uh, good look on this thing. So, um, not gonna go crazy. You know, someday this might get all torn down, everything taken off it. You know, really take care of the frame, reduce some stuff, uh, clean up some of these old welds that are a little. Little little yikes, but um, yeah, we're not gonna go crazy masking stuff off. You can do some gentle spray here and there, try to take care of some of these issues, and uh, see what this thing looks like when we're done. Oh, I need to get my before and after pictures, can't forget that. That's next, all right. Moment of truth, let's we'll start on a small, small spot, even though I'm getting rid of these belts, we'll keep them out of the way. Just kind of do this side frame or side rail here. Oh, yeah. That looks good. You know what? I shouldn't do that because I'm gonna be leaning over to do this floor. The main issue here is floor, so let's uh, let's work on some floor. Oh yeah, I'm very excited for this part. I've been staring at this yellow floor for for way too long. It's kind of an awkward spot to get into, so we're gonna have to probably try to do a couple sneaky sprays in here. Like I was saying, we're not trying to make this you know a show buggy or anything do they have those show buggies i'm sure they do someone's showing their buggies i want to be able to be proud of her when we take her downtown you know not have people saying hey why is your buggy yellow see look what i already did it i already told you i was going to lean into this see good this is why you put on the bad pants i've been doing this for 30 seconds i already sprayed i already got paint on my pants there's some rocks in there. We'll just paint those like they were painted before. Got to keep your rocks nice and painted. I do have some cardboard to attempt keeping some of our wiring the color that it started. I don't really want my wiring to change colors all that much. So that'll just give us a quick little... Let's, let's get a little spray in there. Keep those all nice and current insulation colored. Not perfect, but way, way better. You better stay out of this paint, mister. I don't need a paint dog. Never expect a puppy inquisition. Man, this uh, trigger for this paint, the spray can is uh, pretty sweet. I've used them before a long time ago, but that sure is making this hillbilly paint job a little easier. See, this right here is gonna bother me. This part underneath that I can see through from the top. Yeah, you know, these little pebbles just kind of like to live. I mean, you can see. Come here, come here, you. They're already pre-painted once. So we'll just leave these in the yard so I hit them with the mower. Send them in the neighbor's property. Get a little bit of the center rail. Oh, yeah, that's looking nice. Remove some blue. Yes, we're debluing. Look at that control, look at that precision, everybody. I could sell paintwork like this. 
No. You know I couldn't. You wouldn't buy it, would you? There's just yellow everywhere. I'll tell you what, this thing looks fantastic compared to 20 minutes ago. Come do these rails over here, I never finished. Did I get the inside? Not really. I'm going with a flat, you know, we'll see how I like it. There was some gloss on it before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna blend. It's not gonna blend at all, what am I talking about? But we'll see if I like it flat as opposed to kind of shiny. I can always come back and, when I mean, you've seen how, what a horrible undertaking full of work this was. And if I have to, I'll come back and take belts off and do it right. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with this result. See how it looks when it dries. Ultimately, I'm gonna want these to come off to really paint them right, but we'll at least cover up some of these colors that aren't so exciting. I mean, they're exciting, but not for this rig. Covering up some of the old stickers that have torn off and left their imprints or outlines. I mean, remember this thing, a friend of mine who owned this before me had bought it and we basically just got it running took it on two adventures and then I bought it off him so there wasn't a whole ton of time to go through and you know church the thing up too much so kind of we were running it all last year as is just you know the important stuff make it run and drive and turn and stop and go and start and yeah those things more yellow I guess you can't get away from, you can't escape the yellow on this thing and currently, you can't escape the blue either. Ooh, there's a bunch of purple. I wonder if I can get to that. No, I can't. We'll just kind of get in here and touch some of these spots. There's more yellow. So this thing was yellow, we're, we're discovering. And then it was some kind of blue, teal, purple, joker looking thing. Pretty impressed how far we got. Oh man. That looks many many thousands of times better that's uh that's looking pretty good i gotta say i mean there's some some issues but geez i am pretty happy with that i'll tell you what i only really planned on doing up by the seats but this kind of went so well i just don't want to stop I think we could be just about done other than some minor touch-up areas. Is that a Chevy sticker? Okay, well, no more. Don't have to worry about that anymore. That's a weird thing to have on here. Maybe the previous owner is something about that. <clears throat> you know who you are. It's one of those things, you know, a terrible black paint job on this area of the thing. If you look at it close, it's gonna look terrible-ish. But it's not gonna be, you know, half silver anymore. So it's not gonna catch the attention from everyone everywhere and say, well, that thing hasn't been painted. Oh, she's been painted. Just not well. Holy, this thing looks way better. <laughs> Man, getting a look at it after what it used to be. Okay, I think I should stop. I think we're gonna call it. No, one more spot, one more spot. We doing that all day, one more spot, one more spot, one more spot. Okay, now I'm done. Not quite a half can, but gotta have to touch up these. Oh, oh I keep seeing it. Okay, oh no. Okay, now we're done. I'm putting the can over here, I'm not looking anymore. Shoo, buddy! Would you look at this? We still got some paint drying, but man, oh man. What a change on this thing. It's the same color. There's just less other colors on it. I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like with the white wheels in the front. Change the color on the shroud and the gas tank in the back. Probably do blue on those. Man. 
that was awesome. I was expecting to do nothing more than like the floor pan, uh, the grates, maybe the skid plate, do some of the bars right by the seat so I can get the new belt in. I thought this thing was gonna take all day to dry. It's already mostly dry, except for I just came back and touched up for a second time. So uh, yeah, this thing looks fantastic. I'm gonna probably lose my mind and do a little bit more painting, you know, in the areas that I can't, uh, I can't deal with it. But um, overall, this is like a whole new rig. So um, gonna let it dry, do a couple last touch-ups. And then uh, I think next projects are probably gonna be pulling the wheels off, getting the new tires on, spraying the wheels white. Might get the fuel tank, it's not a real priority, but then it's gonna be the seat belts, fire extinguisher mount, you know, all those actually important things before we get this thing uh, uh, on the next trip. And then timing, carb rebuild, tune it, and then we're pretty close. You know, I'm gonna have a few more things to do, but that puts us real close. So um, I'll probably try to throw some photos in, either uh, up on you know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter of the before and after this thing. Maybe I'll use a before and after as the thumbnail for this video, but. Uh, Appreciate you checking it out. Uh, look forward to uh, catching on the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.